Thank you, Senator. I am so proud to be on this team. Look at all of you. This is amazing. And this is what makes a difference because we all know that this is a close election. And from the governor's race on down, this is going to be tight. We've done so much of our work, and now it is in your hands. The future of this state, of this commonwealth, and of our representation in Washington is now in your hands. You're the ones who are going to make it happen out there on the streets, on the phones, knocking on doors, and getting people out to the polls for tomorrow's election. And I am so proud to have your help. Thank you so much. And I am especially proud to be here this afternoon in Lynn because this city has so much potential and so much of our future uh, can be shown by what we can do here in Lynn. When the vice president came last week, it was the first time since 1978 that a sitting president or vice president has come to Lynn. And he and I, and he and I both knew that it was so important that he comes to this city. We have so much work to do. But if we come together, following in the footsteps of Senator McGee and, what's in, and Representative Finnell and, and the counselors and what so many other people have done to ensure that this city's future is brighter than its past, we can turn this city around and it will be a model for the entire district. Yes. So we have yes. Yes. We are going to bring good jobs back to Lynn, and not just the old jobs, but the new innovative jobs, the jobs growing out of the startups that, go, that come from Boston and Cambridge. We are going to ensure equal education opportunity for all. Yes. So the yes. Yes. Is yes. And it's 2014. It's 2014. And women still earn 77 cents on the dollar for men. Well, in 2015, we are going to turn that around. Equal pay for equal work, no matter what the And finally, we are going to continue the democratic tradition of always taking care of our veterans and our seniors. They deserve not just adequate care, but the best care in the world. The future is riding on this election. And right now, with all the work that you're going to do in the next 24 hours, the future is in your hands. I could not be more proud to have you on this team. I could not be more proud to have your support. And I will be so proud to be your next congressman. Okay. Yeah. to introduce an absolutely extraordinary United States Senator. I can't do her justice, Senator Elizabeth Warren. No, it's for here. No, 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 don't touch that. No, it does work. Just to hear. Sorry, that's true. <laughs> see how many people were out there knocking on doors, making phone calls, holding signs in 2012. And when you did that, we won in yeah. And you made it happen. And I want you to know how grateful I am. I want you to know that when you make it happen, that I get out every single day and fight to make it happen for you. Because that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. coming up, We've got it tomorrow, and we know what's at stake. The fundamental question here is who does our government work for? Does it work just for the rich and the powerful? Does it work only for Fortune 500 companies? Or does it work for the people? We believe it works for the people. Yeah. 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 We have real choices to make here. Let's talk first about this governor's race because it is powerfully important. 
We have a real choice here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the best way I understand people is I look at what they've done. So let's just look back over the past few years. We have one candidate who has been a CEO and gone out and collected an award for being the outsourcer of the year. Vocational Tech School. He is a real young man. <laughs> and we, we, I was talking to several of the students about their co-ops and the work they got to do. And this young man, who never thought he would have a chance to go to college, said he had a four-year scholarship to to uh, Bucknell in electrical engineering. That's what Lynn Votech is doing. Yes. You all know yes. that. Commonwealth in Merrimack Valley, on mm -hmm. the South Shore, in North Adams, where I grew up, in Holyoke and Springfield, and I see that potential. I know that's why I've worked for the last 14 months, and I know that's why you are going to help. As we leave here, we're not talking, we're almost done talking, right? Because we've got to get back to work. <laughs> but if you will give me every minute you can, between now and the close of polls, to get your vote in, if you're working tomorrow, get your absentee ballot in. Get your friends out. Get your, as Deval Patrick says, get your grumpy old uncle out. <laughs> and have him bring a couple of his grumpy old uncle friends with him. And let's win this race because I'll tell you, Elizabeth and I and some of you know, we just came from a very touching funeral for Mayor Benito. And it was tearful and it was joyful and it was a wonderful celebration. The time he has spent in the mayor as mayor of Boston. And the thing that kept coming up is that what his service was about was the people he cared about. That's people true. who were homeless, people who wanted a shot at good education. Mm -hmm. His grandchildren talked about how we talked to them every day about how they were doing in school. Right. And he cared about not just his grandchildren, but every kid in Boston mm -hmm. getting that shot, that fair shot, which is what we believe in. So I don't know about you, but it just re-inspires me to take these last 27 hours to make this happen to get this done. It is too important. There's too much at stake. But I tell you this, if you will have my back and Seth's back and all the Democrats on this ticket, we've got Steve Kerrigan, we've got Maura Healy as your next yeah. Yeah. We will make Massachusetts shine. And if you will give me every moment you can and work as Elizabeth says, your fanny off, <laughs> we will get this done. So who wants to win? Let's go! Yeah.